let's talk about weird things in Colombia. Hi everybody and welcome to How to Expert. My name is Tasha and if you don't know yet, I'm an expert living here in Colombia. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about weird things here in Colombia and I just wanted to say that's all from my personal perspective and I'm from Switzerland so that could be different for everyone depending on where you're coming from so and also that weird doesn't mean I don't mean it in a bad way, I just mean it in a it's uncommon, unusual, I've never seen that before kind of way if you understand what I mean so this video is kind of a rapid fire so I'm not gonna elaborate on every single point I'm gonna make so if you want to know more about um, something I talked about and didn't go into detail about it and if you want to know more about it let me know in the comments so yeah let's start with the first point point. and the first point is men doing manicure here so I've seen people men in um, like nail salons and I thought they're just there with the girlfriend of their wife but they were actually getting their treatment so that's something that is normal here then another point is bags um, it's as far as I know it's bad luck to put your bag on the floor so let's say for instance we've been in a bus and it was full and we had to stand and the girl was actually offering Sam my husband to take his bag on her lap she was a stranger, we haven't seen her in, ever before, but she offered that and that's kind of a thing, like instead of putting it on the floor, someone's gonna offer you to put it on their lap. Same happens on the metro, so that's kind of thing here, it's not normal to put your bag on the floor and if you're in a restaurant, they usually offer you a chair to put your bags on, so that's a thing also that is kind of weird or I've never seen that before either. And uh, what else? I have my little list here, so let me check. Um, oh yeah, big age gap. So most people here are, let's say, different from Switzerland because I've seen a lot of relationships between um, a girl and a man that had like maybe an age gap of 10 years and up. And that's because here it's different. Like here a man is most, it's more like traditional like it used to be. Um, in Switzerland at least, so that means the man is the provider, so usually in order to be a provider you have to be older in order to make enough money to provide for someone and you're not usually here in Colombia, you're not just providing for your girlfriend or for your wife, but you're providing for the family too, so, so let's say uh, an aunt is getting sick, so most probably they, they, you're the first person they're gonna ask if you're the provider so that's normal here it's not like they're they're ripping you off or i don't know what um it's just like a cultural thing but uncommon in from where i'm from <laughs> so the next thing is um the people culture here what i mean by that i noticed especially with our clients from the united states they're pretty direct so they're pretty straightforward so if they want um, some business with you if they have a question they're just going straight into it like hey i want to know that i want can you help me with this that blah 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 they're not going in like hey how are you how's your family how's your dog whatever it is so that's the usual thing to do here first you ask how is the person doing maybe how's the family stuff like that and then you go into business and the thing is here the people are not so focused on business in terms of if you're not behave the way you're supposed to here in Colombia if you're or even Latin America I would say if you're perceived as rude because you're so straightforward which is perceived rude here they maybe will ignore you they will maybe not want to work with you even though you have a lot of money to spend and um, they would maybe uh, need that money but they won't work with you just because you're a rude person or they're, you're perceived, perceived as rude, <laughs> let's say. So that's the thing to know. Like first you ask, hey, how are you doing? What's going on? I don't know, like the weather has been awful these days or whatever it is. And then you say, oh, by the way, I need something from you, blah, 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 blah. That's usually how we do it here. So keep that in mind. And the next thing is, oh yeah, um, what I noticed, well, I don't know if you have ever been in a bus in Switzerland during summer because it's not a nice place to be. <laughs> um, people don't smell that good, let's say. 
here totally different i mean it's usually hot all like all time like it's um year-round spring weather right so here it's always kind of warm but people are still wearing uh, long shirts having um not wearing shorts usually but jeans and all of that but you never sm they, they don't smell because they're putting on a lot of deodorant and um, perfume whatever it is so another thing i wanted to talk about um, in this rapid fire i hope it's gonna be um, rapid <laughs> uh, is that you don't have bathtubs here it's just it's just uncommon you don't encounter a lot of bathtubs here unless you pay a lot for it uh, and just let's just go to the next point that is laws here are more suggestions that than anything else so we notice that usually when people say um, that's the law that's how it is and then the next day they say but we can do something else from what I just said is the law. So you just know it's just like more of a suggestion because there's always kind of a gray zone. And I would say that applies to pretty much all Latin America, not just to Colombia. And yeah, so let's see what else we have on our list. Um, oh yeah, they, um, people here don't eat a lot for dinner, which is uncommon in Switzerland. Usually in Switzerland, you go out to a restaurant, for example, or you eat at home, but you eat a lot. And here they have just maybe a filled empanada or uh, an empanada or a filled arepa, something like that, which is not a lot for us, especially for Sam, because he needs a lot of food. But <laughs> anyway, um, it's just weird for us because in Switzerland, it's the opposite. You don't eat maybe too much in the morning, but you eat a lot in the, after, uh, in, in, in the evening for dinner. So that's kind of interesting too, because you don't see a lot of people um, eating big meals um, at night, but usually just like picadas, which is like a lot of meat and maybe some potatoes and you share it with maybe five people or how many people you are. So, um, and it's just not a lot of, of food. And yeah, let's go to that last one. Oh yeah. Um, if you're doing business here, if you're thinking of doing business here, just know that most people here don't have a website, an actual website for their businesses. So usually they have a Facebook, uh, Facebook page instead of an actual website because it's more expensive to make like to get a good um, website done and all that. So it's just easier and everyone can do it opening a Facebook page. So that's usually the case here. So just that you know, if you're doing like research on the internet and you're looking for a specific, I don't know, um, a, a, a specific business, then I would search it on Facebook instead of the internet on Google. Well, usually it's gonna direct you to Facebook anyway, but just that you know that. And so that's pretty much to sum it up for this rapid fire. Let me know please in the comments down below if you want a second part of that. And also if you like that kind of rapid fire, I don't know if it was actually that fast as I thought, or I think I am, <laughs> but let me know what you think about that. So yeah, that's pretty much for today's video. Don't forget that we offer consultations. If you have any questions about Latin America or Colombian specific, we are always happy to help. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.